according to information from Australian media. The project to build 12 attack glass submarines of this country is likely to be capitalized up to nearly 90 billion Australian dollars. The deadline for the first delivery will be delayed until 2034, and the last submarine will be completed in the mid-2050s. The delay in handling over the attack class submarines is prompting the Australian Department of Defense to consider increasing the expiry date of the 6 Collins class submarine fleet. According to Navy officials, six of the Collins class submarines are about to extend their service life by another 10 years. It is expected that the overhaul program will be implemented from 2026 at a cost of about 6 billion Australian dollars. The overhaul items will include replacement of main engine and diesel generators. The modernization of the submarine fleet will help Australia maintain military deterrence across the region's quarters. However, until the attack class submarines are commissioned, the Royal Australian Navy will continue to depend on the Collins class submarines. The Collins class diesel electric submarines has been in service with the Royal Australian Navy since 1996, the last completed in 2003. These are considered one of the most feared conventional submarines in the world, thanks to its quiet performance and powerful weaponry. The request for a new design to replace the Royal Australian Navy's Auburn class submarines was introduced in the late 1970s. The Australian Defence Department has approved a Cockum's proposal of a Swedish Vastog land based design. A contract for six submarines was signed, including an option for another two more, which were not implemented. Manufacturing work was carried out in Adelaide, South Australia, and was known as the Collins class. The name of the class was taken from the name of Australian Vice Admiral John Augustine Collins, which was also the name of the first submarine, the Collins SSG-73. Or other submarines were named after significant personnel in the Royal Australian Navy who were prominent in World War II. By design, the Collins submarines displaces 3,100 tons when surfaced and 3,400 tons when submerged. The submarines are 77.42 meters long, a beam of 7.8 meters, and a draft of 7 meters a quarter line. To operate the submarines, a crew of 42 to 58 people is needed. The endurance is about 70 days. The submarines are single hard and have two continuous decks. The hull is constructed from a high tensile microalloy steel developed by Swedish steel manufacturer SSAB and improved by BHP of Australia, which was lighter and easier to weld than the HY80 or HY100 nickel alloy steel used in contemporary submarines construction projects while providing better results in explosion balls testing. The submarines are covered in a skin of anechoic tires to minimize detection by sonar. These tires were developed by the Australian DSTO. At the time of launch, these were the largest conventionally powered submarines in the world. Australian submarines use a conventional power source, including three Garden Island Hedemora 18 cylinder diesel engines, which are each connected to a 1,400 kW Schumann Schneider generator. The combined electrical generation capability of each submarine is 2.4 MW. 15 fuel tanks are located throughout the submarine. They must be used in specific sequences to preserve the submarine's buoyancy and trim. 
this supply a single Schumann Snyder DC motor, which provides 7,200 shaft horsepower to a 7-bladed 4.22 meters diameter school bike propeller. Most sources believe that the ships can reach a depth of over 180 meters. Some say the maximum depth is over 300 meters. Submarines can reach a maximum speed of 10 knots when surfaced and periscope depth or 20 knots when submerged. The range of the Collins class submarine reaches 11,500 nautical miles when surfaced at 10 knots or 480 nautical miles when submerged at 4 knots. The Collins class has an integrated electronic system, including the Thomson Sintra Scala active or passive bow sonar, linked to passive intercept and ranging array distributed around the flanks of the submarine, three panels on each side. There are also Thales Shortas to passive sonar array deployed at the stern. When surfaced or at periscope depth, the Collins class boats can use a Kelvin Hughes Type 1007 surface search radar, which is situated in a retractable mast on the fin. The combat management system is the Raytheon CSS Mark II. Current measures include a Contour CS5600 ESM intercept and warning unit, and two SSE decoys. The weapons of the Collins class submarines include six 533mm large tubes carrying a mixture of heavy Mark 48 Mode 7 torpedoes and UGM 84C subharpoon anti ship cruise missiles. The standard payload is 22 torpedoes. The Royal Australian Navy has considered buying Tomar cruise missiles, but so far, no contract has been met. Since its commission in 1996, Collins class submarines have been actively involved in military operations in the area. Most recently, in early 2019, the Collins class participated in a multinational joint military exercise called Ocean Explorer 2019, which took place in Cockburn Bay, Henderson, Western Australia. The Ocean Explorer 2019 exercise was particularly noted by the Chinese media because the Royal Australian Navy has repeatedly stated its support for the United States in guaranteeing freedom of navigation in the Pacific Ocean. The Australian Navy says it is ready to send Martin warships and its allied troops to fight alongside their allies in the event of a war. Although not too new, Collins class submarines are still extremely scary thanks to their quiet operation, state of the art electronic equipment, and powerful weapons. In the future, when receiving the French Bill Attack class submarines, Australia's submarine fleet will be even stronger. According to military experts, if the war broke out in the Pacific, Royal Australian Navy submarines will block the supply route from the south, causing their opponents to quickly disintegrate. My video of Colin class submarine ends here. Thank you for watching. You find this video interesting? Please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.